Good evening, Facebook. This is Latasha Morgan. Let me see. I want to invite some people. I just came on here because I want everyone to see my weight loss progression from when I first started on this journey and how far I've come since then and how much further I have to go because um, it's just the beginning. So let me invite some people. Hello, Mr. Worthington. Thank you for tuning in. Um, let me see. If I can get some more people to tune in. Yes, how's it? How are you doing this evening? Um, when you come on, could you please um, put in the comments where you're tuning in from? I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and I just want to share with everyone um, my weight loss progression because I'm proud of my persistence and how far I've come since I started because it ain't always easy um, as well so um, I just want to come on because you know I used to do my lives talking about mindset getting your mind right and I would be walking at the park or you know just always walking so I just want to come on and show everyone my progression and how far I've come um, from me walking on a consistent basis even those days I didn't feel like it you know I just tried to make an excuse not to do it or, or you know those bad eating habits that I had you know I was drinking Dr. Pepper's every day and just you know eating a lot of fried chicken and things of those nature so I knew that if I wanted to be serious about, you know, my health, then I had to take a different approach and be um, serious about it and persistent. So I just want to come on and show you all because I know if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's just all on believing in yourself and really wanting it and, you know, doing what it takes. <clears throat> so, you know... I used to have a little arm fat, but I don't now, so <laughs> I don't mean to be flexible, but I'm just showing my progression. Um, if you can see, uh, my midsection has um, gotten a little tighter from, you know, when I first started, if you can see. Um, I'm trying to show you all <laughs> the best I can. But, um, let me see if you can see that, uh, yeah, I done slammed up my, my, my shorts have gotten too big, you know, I, they used to fit a little tight, but now they're too big. So I've come a long way. Um, my legs, let me show you, let me see if you can see my legs. My legs done got a little tighter just from me um, being consistent and and staying, you know, doing the things that I needed to do in order to get where I'm at. Because when I first started, I was close to like 200 pounds. And since then, I've dropped like 25, 30 pounds. Not with a lot of heavy exercises, not... Um, taking different vitamins and, and weight loss things. I'm not knocking those things. I'm just saying from my experience and, and what I've done, basically I just changed a lot of my bad eating habits. Um, I used to eat a lot of fried chicken and drunk a lot of Dr. Pepper. And, <laughs> and that was the hardest thing for me to stop doing was the Dr. Pepper. So... I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in so long. Um, now I just mainly drink um, a lot of water, um, put lemons in the water, 
Um, I walk on a daily basis. Um, I also do certain exercises that don't require a lot of time. I don't go to a gym. So don't think that you have to be, you know, go to a gym in order to um, lose some weight or, or just be healthy and caring about your health. You don't have to go to a gym. You just have to be persistent in what it is that you want to do and continue to do it, even some days when you don't feel like doing it. You know, I didn't feel like doing it all the time. It was some days that I just didn't want to go walk, but I gave myself a reason to. And then I found a walking partner to walk with. So that made it even better. <laughs> so, and then, and then also I started buying a lot of fruits and stuff. I used to snack on, you know, the little Debbie snacks, the oatmeal pies and the, the honey buns and the nutty bars. I used to, I used to snack on that all the time. But now, I, I eat more fruits, um, oranges, apples, pineapples. That's, that's my snack now, crackers and tuna fish. More lean, more lean type of foods. You know, I'm not vegan. I still eat meat, but it's not the heavy meat. And I call heavy meat like pork and, and red meat. I eat mostly now fish. Uh, grilled chicken, baked chicken. I know you all seen me post a picture of my Sunday meal the other day. It was baked chicken um, with some mixed vegetables. I always have ate a lot of vegetables. But I just came on here because I know when I first started that that's what, you know, I was doing my lives about. I was doing it mostly about mindset, which you which that is very important when you're, you know, losing weight or whatever it is you're doing, whether you're working online or you're doing other things in life, you got to have your mind right. So when I was doing that, I was walking at the park. So I, I said, you know, I've been walking all this time doing lives and I haven't shown no progression. So I felt that I was going to come on here and at least show my progression and being persistent and, and staying you know, consistent in what I'm doing and staying focused on my health, you know, I have got the results that I've that I've always wanted because after I had my children, I kind of I kind of <laughs> lost um, taking care of myself like I needed to, you know, once I had my children because, you know, I was cooking this and that, pork chop and all this other things, but. I, I got to a point to where I, I wouldn't like to take pictures or, or see myself in a, when I did see myself in the picture, I didn't like it. So I said, well, if you don't like it, you got to do something about it. And so that's what I did. I started working on me and my health and, you know, being, having better eating habits and things of that nature, because I knew that was the only way that I was going to get the weight off. Sitting talking about myself to people wasn't going to get the weight off, you know. So I just I just knew it was something that I needed to do and that I had to do, not for anybody else, but for me, because it was me that wasn't happy with my weight. So I, I made it a, a, a priority to to work on that on a const on a consistent daily basis and i still am working on that you know i still have some more pounds that i need to get off as you can see if you can see you know i've i've come you know pretty long way from where i was because it was looking like i was like three months pregnant you know um some months ago so i knew i had to change that and you know i'm just i'm i just want to come on and share with you know with my facebook friends because i know some of us you know i'm not the only one there's someone else that might be you know wanting to lose some weight and and not taking it serious and not doing the necessities to do it but it's really not as hard once you get in your mind and you determine to do something, it becomes much easier because you know it's something that you really want, so you go after it.
Thank you all for tuning in. Can you please put in the comments where you're tuning in from? So I just want to come on and share with you all what it was that I was doing. Now, it is some products that I do take that helps me, but it's, it's, it's all natural products. Um, I don't um, go to the gym, but there will be another you know, part later on that I might take up on, but I work out in my home just as well, but it doesn't require um, 30 to 45 minutes to get weight off. And that's why a lot of people run from going to the gym because they feel like it might take too much of their time of the day. But if you could do that, um, you know, a seven minute workout for three days, I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? So... If you want to know what it is that what it is that I have done, what it is that I'm taking, you can put in the comments. Um, I'm ready, or you can you know message me and I will you know share share with you that information. But yes, you can work out anywhere. You can work out anywhere, and it doesn't require a lot of heavy workout. You know, because I know that's why I didn't go to the gym because I used to be like I don't want to do all that. You know, I don't want to. Um, have to uh, be in the gym for like an hour or so because I have relatives that would go to the gym and they might be in the gym for an hour or so. So that was kind of discouraging for me. But I found out a, a, a better way that I could do that. And that was, the main thing was to change my eating habits because I know a lot of us, yeah, we work for ourselves and we work online, but you know, your, 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 your health is so important. You know, your, you can't do anything if you don't have your health. So that, that was the main thing for me that I needed to get my health in order first. And then I could work on those other things. But, you know, everyone needs their health. If you don't have your health, you, you can't do the things that you need to do. And you have to understand that it's not an overnight. I know a lot of people want to lose weight fast, the fastest, quickest way, easiest way possible. But you're still going to have to do the work. You're going to have to do the work. So, you know, that's just that's just life. You can't get out of you can't get out of doing the work. You got to do the work, whether it's losing weight, working on your business, working on your marriage. You got to put in the work. I mean, you, that's just what that is, and you can't avoid it. So I wanted to just share with you all that it, it is possible because it has happened for me, and I'm so grateful, and I thank God that I've, I've stayed, I've stuck it out, even on those tough days when I just felt like, I didn't want to do this anymore. I was telling myself to go get you a Dr. Pepper. You deserve a Dr. Pepper. You ain't had it. No, I don't. I don't need it. You know, and, and, and sometimes you have to fight with yourself on those type of things because you do crave things that you don't need. I mean, that's natural. We are human. But you got to understand that there's a bigger and better goal that you're going after of and, and going back is not an option. So I just stuck it out, and I'm continuing to stick it out, but I just want to come on and show you all my progressions from when I first started, when I was on my journey, you know, speaking to you all. I was walking at the park, talking about mindset and all those things, and I was talking to you all, but I was talking to myself as well because I had to get my mind right, and I had to be focused in order to get where I'm at today. And I'm just grateful and, and thankful that um, God gave me that endurance and, and that focus to go ahead and do it and stop talking about it and just get it done. So I want, just wanted to share with you all my progression and how far I've come. Um, I'm sorry if I couldn't show you a, a better angle, but I, I did my best. But, you know, I just I just really want to share that with y'all because I know we're, we're, we're coming into a new year. Everybody has their new year resolutions that they want to do. And a lot of the times it'd be about weight loss, but you have to change your eating habits. You got to change your eating habits. 
and you have to be persistent in, on how you're going to go about your weight loss journey. It's not an overnight thing. It is a, a, a ongoing life journey, you know, because it's not just about putting off the weight, but it's about keeping off the weight as well. And a lot of us have, have you know, have that mixed up. You, we we want to lose weight, but then we don't know how to keep it off. So, you know, we just have to stay persistent in order to keep the weight off because, yeah, you can lose weight, but how do you keep it off? And that's how you keep it off by staying persistent, doing these daily routines that's going to help you keep it off and changing your eating habits. And I mean, that's very important, your eating habits, because... <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm really serious about that. You have to change your eating habits if you really want to keep the weight off. You know, I know the holiday is coming up and, you know, things of that nature, but your health is so important. So I just want to come on here and share with you. I don't want to keep you all long. I just want to share my progression from when I first started and where I'm at now. And I will come back on for another you know, progression just to show you all the the process that I'm going through while I'm on my weight loss journey. So like I said, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, could you put in the description where you're tuning in from? And like I said, I will be happy to share with you all those that, that are interested in, in losing weight and that are serious about it. You know, you can put in the comments, um, ready, or you can message me, e either way. But yes, the journey continues, Sylvester. Thank you for tuning in. But I just wanted you all to see my progression. Like I said, you know, solid arms, solid arms, and I don't lift weights, okay? <laughs> I don't lift weights. Solid arms, solid legs. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. And, um, you know, my midsection has got a lot smaller, which I'm very happy about that. You know, I know you women understand we always have a hard time keeping that midsection, you know, small and, you know, where it needs to be small and tight i'm gonna say you know we we have especially those of us that had children and things of that nature so i just wanted to come on and share with you all my weight loss journey because like i said this is a a life long journey for me this is not just the 30 60 day thing this will be until i expire from this earth so um i i changed i've changed my eating habits um I'm walking on a daily basis, and I'm also starting this seven-minute workout for three days a week. So, like I said, um, I hope y'all found this video useful. I hope this helps someone. Like and share this video. Um, and thank you all for tuning in. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, please put in the comments where you're tuning in from, and I really appreciate you all. Some of you all are just motivating and expiring as well that has helped me as well. So I wanted to share my story with you all. So thank you all for tuning in, and you all have a blessed night. God bless. Bye-bye.